What is up guys? This is Alex with Professor Figures checking out the Solid Snake SD production. Right now we're checking out the base right here. We've got going on over here. These are the actual pieces of flame that go into the base. You can see there's the holes over there and you can see right now they're being inserted. They have to be put in the... If I come over here... You can see we're putting on the covers over there. That's for the bottom of the base. And here, they are being, the fire themselves are being heated up in order to be a little bit more malleable, in order to be able to put it directly on there. You can see how that's being inserted. If we come down the line, again, these are being inserted one by one, and then you can see these are the spacing for the feet themselves. But that this, this whole section is just all working on adding the all adding the, uh, the glue and adding the flames to the bases now this one over here you can see they've now stuck one of the feet on you can see this lady over here adding the glue into those locations so that's adding the glue and then there's already prepared feet over the back over there that she's going to then insert. And she keeps one over there just as a reference. Oh, I guess not. <laughs> that one's, I guess what they use is for, is for it to be drying, I guess. <laughs> so that, when it goes from here, it goes to this side where they add, insert the next foot over there. So that's how it's going down that line. So if I come over to this side, here we can really see like how the feet are being added. So this other section is inserting, this is the, um, what happens here is there are, there's two parts to it. There's the ABS foot, which is this section over here. And it has to be ABS so it's secure and it doesn't fall off. And then you have this PVC cover over here. And what's happening here is they're being inserted. So if we look over here, right now she's adding the glue to put them together. You can see there's a two parts. There you go, you see that being inserted there. Same over this side. Here we have the bandana. Applying those together. This is again this ABS, which is really, really like, you're not moving that. ABS is super rock solid, whereas PVC has bend to it. So we use the internal skeleton here to stop things falling over over time. If you just had it just pure PVC, it'd fall off over time. So you can see that they're being inserted directly into the different various body parts. Adding the glue. And then you can see that's what's been going on over here. Moving along, look at some of these tiny things we've got going on here. These are some of these pockets. Look at these pockets. I right, pick up a few pieces. There you go. I mean, you can see how tiny it is. Some pocket there. Over here, you can see how they're being added. Look, this is what is, what happens at the end. Now you can see that they're cut because it's underneath the, it's, it's getting cut off by the ab crunch. But all of those have to be, they're individually done. And this allows for us to have really beautiful painting work where this paint, if you had this assembled in one piece, it's going to be a nightmare to paint that. There'll be loads of overspray, but you can see we have them all separated like this. Here you can see all the belt buckles as well. They're all separated. And this allows for us to start building the pieces together. Now, it, again, if you have them singly done as one mold, which would be cheaper to do and easier to make, but the painting on this, you're not going to get this beautiful clean line that you've got going on here. And that makes a huge difference. Of course, it means it's much harder to assemble. It's more costly to do it, but the effects, you cannot compare it. Way better. You're not going to have to worry about those bad, those bad, these lines getting oversprayed. You see this whole section over here is all being doing that. It's got to be wrapped on. 
these are just the these are just the the leg areas. They have them all over. Right leg, left leg. You see it being built up. So this section over here, right now, where this is how this is this is the, the the section that we just saw, and what they're doing now is inserting one of the legs, or both of the legs, it might be even. Let's see. And there you go. You can now see this. The clean lines are happening. So that goes over there. It gets passed across, I guess, to the other side. It seems that this section is missing. I think it's going to be getting its belt added. So you can see it's going. There you go. The belt is being added. So it goes from that. It gets passed from this section to that section. And then boom, now that's going down the line. So you can see the bell is now being added. So if you compare them before, after. I better put that one back there, otherwise if someone's gonna get a, a piece missing a buckle, uh, a belt. This section is adding the hair. So we have some hair pieces here, and we have some snake heads. So you can see, adding the glue like that. and it's to the back. So again, so we take these. Looking good. Look at that detailing on that. A bit of stubble, nice painting on the lips. Got the sideburns, and of course, -la 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 -la. open eyes, which is a really cool feature. Now we keep on going down. This side is, so this is where we now got the, the back of the head, which we just saw. And we see over here is inserting, I'm not, uh, it looks like it's the bandana. You can see now the bandana is being added. So I, yeah, this, this part is, I guess there's a rejected. So that looks messed up. This <laughs> Lana. I want to understand what happened there. Okay, this is one. This one's okay. I'll, I'll be uh, checking that with my team. So hold that there. All right, over here we have the bandanas themselves where they are, so that one looks all right, that looks good. They're having the actual bandanas added to them. And actually it's not just that, they're adding the, the glue to do the little front piece of hair over there. Over here, that section is the upper body. We've got the uh, the torso over there. You can see the the little head, the hair piece being added. Just making sure that that covering is all the same. We've got this one in my pocket to check what the hell went on with that one. So this section is. Let's see what we've got over here. We've got the hair piece on there. Not sure what exactly is going on there for that one. Waiting, people are waiting for things to come down the line. Again, if you have a look at these, look at these, all these straps, they're all separately done. And here's a, oh, here's a, here's a good example of the torso. All those straps added, the torso added. These straps over here got to be added there. You see this section is all about that. Hey Terence. Yes. Don't worry, sure enough. Find out what happened there. Okay. Okay. Charles, you can't see about. Have a look at the 
the thing over there. What terrors? Let us get into terrors. Okay, so these are the these are the pauldrons, the shoulder pads, I should say, being added. Just to give it that protection on the shoulder. That comes down over here. I guess right now they're adding over here the hand and the guns. Uh, you can see the hand guns over here. So what happens is you have these, which are the, the, we add the guns themselves. Add the go add them themselves. and then insert that into the piece. Here we have the hands themselves, sorry, the guns themselves, the FRF com, and they're being inserted into here. There's a little job there. Take that out for some inspection. All right, so you can now see how they have that over that section there is the one arm, which is which is going over there, being inserted into the hand, and now they're putting on the other hands over here. And, that, and when that's being done, it comes out looking like this, both hands inserted. You can really see from this process the build-up of a piece, how it goes down the actual the actual line. It's really beginning to take shape. So you can see it here. Let's see what this section is doing. So let's come out of the... Ah, okay. So, what happens is, because it's malleable, in it, over here, they're putting it in and heating it up, and then, because it's a little bit malleable when it's hot, we then add some glue at the, at the body area here, to try and squeeze that in a little bit closer to the body. So, when it's finished, it's, it's closer and there's not so much of a gap at that stage there to give it a tighter fit. All right, so this is the top hair section. Ah, okay, yeah, so what we're doing is we're adding magnets here. Because as you know, the heads are the head can be removed. Uh, sorry, the the hair can be removed, and you can flip the eyes left and right. So what we're doing here is inserting the actual magnets. And you can see along here is a whole line of magnets. Now this is the inspection line for me to check, and you can see obviously here stealth camo. Neon green, snake, all assembled. And over there, they're now beginning to pack, uh, start the packing process. Just take a random piece like that. All those straps that I was saying about are not having to worry about whether or not there's any paint overspray because we made them separate pieces. Pop off the helmet, uh, sorry, the hair. You see right now his eyes are looking to the right. Or our right, I should say. Just trying to do this one-handed a little bit. Thank you, Rachel. Then flip that the other way. My favorite, find it cheaper. Yeah, find it cheaper. Oh, you hear the click? Yep, you hear the click. I'm not sure. 
，放对了吗？有可能只有后面没有放对了，把它拆拆一拆起来，两边都要的，两边。它会有个响声。有响声的，都甩。You just make sure. Yes. Yeah, that's better. That's a closer fit on the eye. Then you gotta look into our left. Put the hat back on. Gave you pressure to get that done, right? This one will change. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. So now you can see it's looking the other way. I really love that feature. And now you really have a clean, clean, clean lines on all of that piece. So this is now good to go for packing. So I'm just gonna quickly show you. The neon green camo, and over here the stealth camo. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. We're going to now start the packing process. Again, you can see a little bit of the uh, the box design. That's the that's the inner card over here. That's the uh, retail box packaging. We've got the uh, exclamation mark, etc., etc. The usual inserts full of FRF reward points, all that good stuff, lovely jubbly. Alright guys, we're gonna leave it here, FRF is love and FRF is life, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, this is a quick follow-up to what I was uh, filming before, after the, the, uh, the footage had finished, I wanted to see this piece to see what was going wrong. Well obviously it's, it, it's assembled incorrectly, and you know, obviously when you're making so many pieces like this, it's very easy that something like this, I'm concerned, would be able to just go through the production line and make it all the way into, production, uh, into the end. And, um, so I wanted to understand this. So afterwards, I, I, I obviously we knew that it was an assembly problem. I knew that the eye was looking down too much. Now this is, as we said, is a normal one over here. Um, yeah. So I found your map name. Nice, yeah, Okay. If you try to put, if you try to put the head on, on this one, you really can't do it because of the way that this is angled. This is too low and this is too high. It means there's a huge. I'm sure you can see it, right? There's a huge gap right there. There's a huge gap. But when you take this head off, okay, uh, this, so this is the one that we just took and Feng Yong put the other one on. You can see that's how it should be, a nice flush finish right there. So that is a, so I'm happy about that because it means that something like this doesn't get through into production boxes. So that's, that's good news. And while we're here, uh, we've got the packing line up and running. Let's have a quick look at how that might go. We have the assembly of the retail box over here. Inserting in, so what happens is they insert the inner card into the retail box. So that's been put in. I love that, right at the top. Then over here, we see it being inserted into the clamshell. So they take off the two sections of the clamshell. One. Bring in the figure. And it goes. Insert those reward points. Put the top on. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada double boom, bada bing, bada triple boom. And then that of course then goes on. As we go down the line. You have the empty boxes that were just being made over there. Then getting the other piece inserted over there. ABC lemon squeezy. Okay, that then goes over there. Hologram Hamil Jash on Judah. So we add these little squares over here. 
Now this is them doing a test, a test run for me, because I'm here just to approve it all, so they're doing a little test run for me. What they've forgotten to do is have that hologram, so we're going to make sure that gets added, which needs to go to the top right. So yeah, that will be there for the final, uh, final, the final pieces, it's again just a test run for me. So yeah, this is what it's going to look like, so just wanted to give this follow-up video to show you guys how that's being done. And uh, I look forward to seeing this in your collection soon. Alright guys, F for F is love and F for F is life and I'll see you on the next one.